Good evening, folks, and welcome to tonight's preview. I say preview, it's already out, of the, uh, the LGV Marseille-Avignon route uh, with the TGV duplex train included. So let's have a look at some of the assets, uh, some of the, uh, the details. This is the route itself. You can see that it stretches uh, for 65 miles. Uh, and it covers between uh, Marseille Saint Charles in the uh, in the south and uh, Avignon in the in the north. There is an interim stopping station at Aix en Provence, um, which is uh, a little way. It's on, on towards uh, the Marseille end of the route. Um, there's an extra station, Saint Lou um, les Agalades. I'm just I really apologise for my pronunciation. It's just not good. Um, which is uh, which is not a stopping station on this route, uh, but it is there. It's used by local services. Um, so that gives you an idea of the route. Uh, you can see the Avignon viaducts, which are included north of Avignon. Um, although the route doesn't go any further than the viaducts, you, you can start and finish scenarios on the viaducts. They do look rather spectacular, and there's something of a landmark in the route. Axon Provence, you can see the um, spectacular station there, and Avignon's got its its own. Um, it's, it's an interesting looking station, um, and uh, and you can see that the TGV here. So speaking of the TGV, let's just have a quick look at the TGV. There it is. Um, so this is the uh, the TGV duplex run by SNCF in France. Maximum speed 320 kmh and this route goes up to 320 kmh. I won't be showing that section this evening but it is, um, it is there. And you spent quite a while running at 320 kmh as well so it's a, it's a good uh, challenge. You have the TVM430 um, system which if you've used London to Faversham it's, a, it's the same system as, uh, as is on there. Uh, and that's on the majority of the route, that's the high speed signalling system. Uh, VACMA which is the vigilance device um, which works very similar to DSD or CIFA um, uh, and so forth in other countries uh, and then there's the KVB system which is uh, in cab uh, signaling on the BAL territories the bowel, uh, bowel signaling so the route itself has got TVM 430 actual the Belize's and so forth on the track but it's also got traditional color light signaling specifically towards the Marseille end of the route so I'm going to what we're going to do is we're going to start off by doing looking at one of the scenarios is a, is a little tutorial which just shows you all the signals so I thought I'd show you that so you could see just the um, so some of the I'm going to call them strange and uh, different signals because I've not seen anything like them uh, than the ones that are included in uh, that the French use on their railways and uh, I thought it was really interesting um, just to see that uh, what's been done there um, so what are we going to do this evening? We're going to start off by looking at that signaling tutorial. After the signaling tutorial, we are going to look at the. Um, um, we're going to give you. I'm going to give you a. Try breaking this train, as in B R A K, <laughs> um, is slowing it down. Um, is is tricky. Um, but until you get the hang of it, it's a manually lapped train. So I'm going to give you a, a short tutorial on just how that works, and then we're going to do a quick drive from Marseille to Aix-en-Provence um, and then I'll show you what's going on in the cab, we'll show you outside and um, we will uh, uh, we'll just generally take a look at um, some of the scenery you can see in that area of the route. If you have any questions I'm going to try and keep an eye on the chat please include at Dovetail Games in the question and please ask it in English if you ask it in French then I will just know you've asked a question and not a lot more uh, because of my lack of French speaking. I do apologise for that. That's my problem, not yours. But I need to. If you need me to understand your question, I'm afraid you'll you'll need to work with me. <laughs> okay, right. Um, so now I'm just having a quick look through the manual to see if there's anything that I can give you in terms of um, details. The focus period for the route is, of course, modern day uh, 2015. It comes with the train. Um, it's got all the signaling types I've mentioned, all the signals and details of how they work are all to covered in the manual as well as the tutorial we're about to cover. Uh, and the TVM430 and the KVB are also covered in detail in the manual. Um, and then scenarios, there are seven scenarios, two of which are tutorials, uh, one for BAL and one for TVM430, with then five career scenarios. And then there are three rail fans, so that's um, two tutorials, there are five career scenarios and there are uh, three brow fans right let's get on and uh, let's shall we get into the world and take a look let me start this up 
and uh, and get into this. Hi everybody again. If you've only just joined, welcome. We're taking a look at the new Marseille Avignon route, which has just been released. Very hot off the presses, um, and uh, it's uh, so it's out now, as it says on the loading page. Um, but I have got a couple of copies to give away as well, which I'll be doing that towards the end of the stream. <clears throat> but you don't want to wait for that. <clears throat> you just want to go and pick it up. You know you do. <clears throat> So uh, it's it's high speed line, and for those that aren't um, completely, they can't appreciate what what the, uh, the the entertainment is other than going very fast. Let me tell you, I've been having great fun today. It, it really is something special uh, trying to manage those high speeds because, as well as the fact that you can go fast, you have to go fast, or you're not going to make those schedules. So you're constantly adjusting controls you're constantly moving the uh adjust watching us what's going on with the signaling it's um this is not a set it and forget it route this is constantly especially with the this like a roller coaster the gradients on this and that's one of the reasons i've chosen marseille to have uh, axon provence because it's just up and down like a roller coaster it really is anyway so welcome to the bal i'm not going to pronounce that signaling system tutorial um so this is based on understanding signal blocks uh, block signaling so we're going to move on so, here we are. So, this is a shunt signal. Violet aspect means you should stop and not pass. This struck me. Violet signals. That's awesome. Um, flashing white means you're clear to proceed. Steady white means you're clear to proceed to the next signal. And the aspect of this type of signal will not show proceed until you're within. So, this is going to only turn, show up until you're, uh, um, until you're close to it. Moving on. We have the A-type signals, which are these three aspect ones here, which pretty much mean what you'd expect. Then you've got flashing red aspect, which means that you can actually proceed through it at a reduced speed. The oyeton, I think that's how you pronounce it, permissive light, which is on. Uh, you'll find an oyeton at a lot of different signals, and essentially it means that it allows you to proceed through a signal otherwise you would not be able to, I think. Um, So then you've got the B-type signal, which is 3 plus the extra signal on the top. And you'll notice on the bottom left corner here, you can, you can see an example of an oyeton in there. Then we've got a C-type signal. So this is 4 um, aspect plus the, the aspect, the other light at the top. And we've also got an oyeton. Uh, and we've got a violet lamp in here, possible in here as well. I'm just whizzing through this a little bit. You can... Uh, spend a bit more time. This is the E type signal. So these are these are the, so this is the French in the slow in the Marseille area. Um, on the, obviously on TVM four thirty, there's no visible signals. It's all done with uh, in cab signalling. Um, then you've got so this is um, the Oyeton signal, which is uh, showing advanced speed warnings. Then you've got uh, so this tells you about diverging speed warning aspects. So for example, the double yellow here says that you're going to be diverging. Um, oh, sorry, there's a 30 kmh speed restriction in the next junction, uh, and then the flashing means that it's a 60 kmh. The G-type signal, now this is, this is interesting because this is showing you not only what's going on at the next signal, but also then which way you're going as well. So you've got um, here, you, again, you've got uh, the fact that we're going to be um, diverted, um, and then this oh and this this is this is driver speed warning so if you're not rooted you get the horizontal one same as you got on the previous type of signal and then you've got combined diverging speed aspects where you've got multiple things going on if you are rooted rooted to another line at this and the next signal then you get told twice you get told now so you've got a lot of advanced notice of what's going on and then you've got the direction indicators. So when no local indicators are on, there's no route active. Where you've got left indicator and you've got going straight. So there's a lot going on here. <laughs> but you're only on this little bit for a fairly short part of the route. So if this is daunting to you, then don't panic. Most of the time, you're actually not going to be getting more, uh, bothered by a lot of this stuff because Marseille to Avignon is a high-speed route, which means you're under TVM control. So this is the TIVD, which is announcing an upcoming speed change. TVIVR, which is, oh, it's just the, it displays the speed to be achieved past the signals. So this means you should be doing, um, you must be traveling at uh, whatever speed it indicates. It's like a minimum speed indicator, which is interesting. I've not seen that before. And that's the barrel signal. That's all there is to it. <laughs> it will take practice. It will take practice um, to, uh, to get the hang of it, as with all signaling systems. 
Right. So, again, what, uh, what I would say there is um, that for most of the time, you're going to be driving on TVM 430, um, and uh, that's, that's different. That's all in the cab and, uh, and simple. How do real-life drivers understand this? It's something you get pra you practice on it, you train on it, and uh, you yeah, train on it. See, there you go, throwing a pun in there, uh, and, you'll, um, uh, and you get experience with it. <laughs> Sebeha says, uh, I think Matt is confused. Matt is always confused. Uh, BNSF, how many scenarios? So there are two tutorials, uh, including the one I just ran, five career scenarios, and um, there are three rail fans. And this, this one I just ran is included. It's the first scenario. Easiest 1,000 points ever, absolutely. So uh, we're going to be uh, going to a breaking tutorial next, um, just so that I can show you um, before we get moving, so that you can see how you actually understand the braking system. So let me just switch back to this one and destroy your monitors with my lovely face. Uh, and I'm going to just fire up a quick drive. The main reason I think I wanted to show that signaling tutorial was to show you just how much depth there is in what's going on in that section of the route. And it's a relatively short, short, uh, short section. By the time you make it to Axon Provence, you're, you're into TGV, um, high, the LGV, and you're not, um, um, and you're not worrying about those signals. So they, they, so they stop relatively quickly. Right. So we're in the TGV cab. This is a good opportunity just to take a look at the map, actually. So this is um, Avignon in the north, and this is the viaducts up here. Um, so this is Avignon. And then the, uh, the LGV line continues on down through here to, um, where's Axon? There it is, there's Axon Provence in that there. So through trains go through the middle and stopping trains um, come off uh, via the switches here off to the side. Um, as you come round here, you get to Marseille, which is uh, the biggest station on the line. It also includes uh, quite a large term table. All of this stuff is all fully working. Um, as the line comes up here, so this is all local. You can see all the signals. Um, and it is local lines head up that way, and they also come off this way. Yeah, so it's it's that's the bit that's got the extra signals on it and in a lot of TGV cases they don't want to get anything in their way so the signals are generally green so it's um, it's it's an interesting sort of it's a gameplay aspect you could take or leave depending on whether you want to right so let's have a look at the cab the uh, the braking so this gauge here is the is the braking system so I'm gonna leave the HUD on full so you can see what I'm doing um, this is the brake lever and you can see it's basically a uh, it's self lapped so you've got the release state. So this gauge needle here is the air flow meter, and then this one here is the actual um, brake pressure. So the brakes are now off. Now, at the moment they're in release, the other next state is hold, then you've got apply, put it back to hold, and you can see that it's put a measured amount of brake on and then stopped it. This is really similar to any loco that's got manually lapped brakes. So the difference between manually lapped and self-lapped are the two types of braking systems. So self-lapped is where you put it on 10% and you get 10% of brakes. Put it on 50%, you get 50% of brakes. Um, if you have a manually lapped and you leave it on apply, the brakes just get more and more and more and more and more until they're on emergency. So you have to then put the brakes, tell it to apply the brakes and then to put it back onto hold. So here, if I put it on release and then back into hold, it takes a minute for the airflow to stop, but that's fine. So it released all the way. If I go to apply and back to hold, you can see it only applied a little bit of brake. I put it on back on a, uh, apply and back to hold, it applied a bit more brake. So when you're coming into a stop, you want to just manage your brakes. Keep an eye on that gauge. It's relatively visible. Even here, you can see what's going on on that gauge. You can also see what's going on on the HUD here. So if you apply, so you can see the gauge is moving quite happily. So that gives you an idea of just, so that while I'm driving the route, you can sort of see what's going on um, with the braking system. Right, so it's time to get moving. Let's take a quick look around the train. So we've got cab light here. Uh, we've got, which one's that? Oh, Sander. Um, there are variable wipers on this. This is interesting. So as well as having um, intermittent wipers, like this you've also got and you've got different speeds of intermittent wipers 
or different speeds of wiping, sorry. You've also got this control down here, which lets you, if I move it away from the HUD, uh, which lets you actually set the wiper to a, you can control the wiper where you want it to be, which is really interesting. Um, down here we've got um, the alerter. You've also got pantograph controls, so you've got the um, controls for whether you want um, the front pantograph up as well as the rear pantograph. I think it's the middle one puts them both up. Um, they do mean specific things. It all, it's all described in the manual, but that's what's controlling that. But I'm, we're going to leave it on LGV, and then we've got the... Um, I can't remember what this means. Let me just have a quick look here. In the instruction manual, I'm resorting to the manual. It's desperate times. Uh, so the red dial control selection of pantograph. Zero lower all. N select rear pantographs. And the SNL select front pantograph. And then the other one, the M says raise selected pantograph on the rear unit for 25 kV power mode. C raises it on both front and rear units for 1500 volt power mode. And then the LGV one raises it on the rear for 25 kV uh, and some of it is down to the height that they raise the pantograph to as well. Uh, what else have we got? So this is KVB up here, so we can press and hold test. And that does a full test on KVB, so we can make sure all the sounds and alarms work on it. This is TVM430 here. We have a speedometer, which looks suspiciously like the one on a Javelin, for good reason. Uh, this is your analog speedometer with the, uh, the target speed indicator shows up on here. You have your line meter, which says whether or not um, you've got line current. The route does have neutral sections, so um, you need to uh, you can see that, but you don't have to do anything special for the neutral sections. Just be aware of them. Um, and then this is how much power you're putting on. So let's get moving, and then we can take a look at what's going on. I'm going to enable um, KVB. I'm going to enable VACMA so that we get the alarms if they need to. You can see the lights have come up on the KVB system here. Um, and uh, let's get going. There we go, let's take a look outside, get some lights on. Still in a 30 limit. We'll be coming up to the uh, 60 in a minute. But let's have a look at the passenger view. This is the first class passenger section. Coming out of Marseille at the moment. Let's just have a look at Marseille. You can see the uh, storage and uh, work sidings over on the left here. There's Marseille. Um, and then over here we've got that big turntable, a big roundhouse is over here as well. Just something. Obviously the TGV can't be used on this, but I'm sure you'll find something to put on there. Oh. That would be VACMA. <laughs> Let me release the brakes. <laughs> Let's just go in again. Get to hear it moving again. I like the way it starts off. It sounds great. Right, get the 60 in a moment. You can see the signals up here. I 
was over speeding a bit there and uh, KVB got upset with me he put it back under speed again <laughs> Now we can speed up to 110. Yes, it takes off like a rocket, it really does. Very powerful train. Let's have another look in the uh, passenger compartment. Of course, it's more than just the train. There's this beautiful route as well. There's the line heading off to the right there. We've just been given a 140 limit. We travel a little bit at 140 under KVB control and in a minute we'll be uh, is it green signal in a minute we'll be heading into the uh, into quite a long tunnel which puts us onto LGV with TVM 430 signaling Two horns. So we have a short tunnel, and then you can see the sort of the start of the roller coastery bit of the route where we get this dip, and then we uh, we start quite a long climb. Uh, JS Gal, this route goes up to 320 kilometres per hour, um, but only once we're on the TVM 430 signalling system. The KVB were limited to 140, which was just about to end actually. You can see the increase is coming up just here. Ballast has changed. Things are about to get real. We dive under the uh, One sixty TVM now active. We're clear for one sixty, and we put me put up to three hundred. So we're on our way up now. As you can see, this is a steep hill. One uh, is a twenty-five, which I think is two and a half percent. I could be wrong. Is it breaking like the sixty-six? Uh, similar, yes, yeah, similar. So the power of these trains gives means that the uh, the whole journey has got significant grades on it. Um, this is the steepest, um, and all right, we've got a two thirty coming up. Ooh, back up to three hundred. So we're only going to be stopping at Aix-en-Provence, which is just down the line, actually. We're not going to be long till we're there. That was the back part. 250 kmh. Slowing down to 2.30 by the next signal. This is because we're stopping at uh, Aix-en-Provence.
Right, slowing down to 160. So I'm just applying the brakes as I described earlier. We're about to uh, come out. So you get this rise and it drops again as we go over the, uh, come out of the tunnel. And then we're back outside again. Now, in reality, the line speed is still 300 kmh here. So if you weren't stopping at Axe en Provence, you'd be, you'd be carrying on accelerating up to 300 kmh. It's just got the one cab view, BNSF. Now we'll get the next, yep, 130. You have to make sure that you're slowed down to the target speed by the time you get there. TVM will put the brakes on for you if you don't. Right, we've got Trois Rouges, which means we have a red light, a stop at the uh, end of the platform. And uh, if you've got a... Um, so if you're good with the in-cab speeds on the 395 and good with 66 brakes, pretty much. Uh, if you're driving the double duplex, by the way, the with uh, with two trains, um, un uh, two units, it just just fits this platform. So stopping it right can be uh, can be an interesting uh, time. All right, while that train stops, let's go and have a look. This is Axon Provence. Got the, the motorway going underneath, and there you go. That's it for this this short demo of the uh, when the game finishes. Thank you. Make the noise the noise level go down a bit. So that's the uh, that's the end of a short demo uh, of this uh, of this uh, new route. You can get it now on Steam, um, but if you're feeling lucky, let's uh, let's have a look. While we do the uh, competition uh, or the giveaway. I will just run through some of the uh, the vital statistics uh, of this uh, of this route. So our first uh, keyword is going to be SNCF. So there you go, a keyword. I'll put it on the chat. So the first keyword is SNCF. So if you would like to type SNCF into the chat in lowercase letters, please, uh, and no other symbols or characters, then that will enter you in. Um, so this route is about. Uh, let me just double check the uh, the stats on the manual so I don't get them wrong. Uh, 65 mile section of the LGV Méditerranée between Avignon and Marseille Saint Charles in the south of France, all set in modern day. There are three stations that you can stop at, being Marseille Saint Charles, Axon Provence, and Avignon. It comes with the TGV um, duplex, the SNC TGV duplex, which has TVM 430 signalling, KVB signalling, and the vacuum of vigilance device on it. Uh, there are seven, uh, sorry, two um, tutorial scenarios, five uh, in normal scenario, career scenarios, um, and there will be, um, th and there are three rail fan scenarios. Right then, folks, I'm going to do a countdown on this now. And we're going to roll it. So, the first winner is Blackstorm485. Congratulations. It's a second keyword. I think the second keyword has to be TGV. All in lowercase letters. Go for it, folks. TGV, type TGV. That will get you into the next giveaway. This is a second copy of the SNCF route. Keys will be going out 
ASAP. I believe we already have them, but let me double check that. All right, then, folks, it's time to uh, right and roll it. BNSF two thousand and one. Congratulations, you are the second winner. There you go, folks. So, congratulations to. Um, uh, look, Blackstorm 485, sorry, I'm buried in Windows, and BNSF 2001. So uh, you'll be getting your keys imminently um, in your Twitch messaging. So uh, don't forget to look either in Inbox or in Other. Uh, and if you have any problems, do give us a shout and we'll, uh, we'll do our best to help you out. So that is an overview of the Marseille Avignon route with the TGV duplex. Uh, with SNCF and uh, and I hope that's been good to you. Uh, if you have problems or if you want to understand a bit more about the braking just wind back and have a look at the little tutorial I gave on the braking system. Um, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's, once you get the hang of it it's great it's uh, just it's a, it, it's a manually lapped system and uh, you just have to treat it a little bit different to some of the other trains you might have driven. Uh, but once you get the hang of it it's great great fun it really is. Right, thank you very much for joining everybody. Congratulations to Blackstone 485 BNSF 2001 on winning. And uh, I will see you on the next time. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye-bye.